Tell us more about Allianz Dynamic Asian High Yield Bond. This is essentially an Asian high yield bond fund that um, invests primarily in Asian high yield um, fixed income um, space. Uh, we may invest um, th about 30% out of Asia and about um, also into investment grade, uh, but the fund invests is a high yield fund and invests primarily in high yield securities. What is your view about credit risk in the Chinese debt market? I think if you're investing in the high yield market, uh, credit risk is always inherent. So it's not inherent only in the Chinese debt market. I think uh, credit research is therefore key uh, because these companies that we invest in uh, in the high yield market, is, they're all highly levered. So therefore credit research needs to be done. If you look at the default rate in Asia itself on the US dollar bond market, it's about 2.5%. It's still relatively lower than some of the other regions. Uh, most importantly, uh, because of last year's correction in the bond market um, from you know, China deleveraging to trade disputes uh, to high oil prices uh, and of course a Fed rate hike cycle, uh, valuations are actually very attractive and as a result, if you look at where the index yield is trading, it's about 8.1%. You know, 8.1% uh, and a default risk of 2.5%, uh, we feel you're adequately compensated for taking risk in the high yield market. Now that yields and spreads have fallen, what are the drivers of the fund's performance going forward? If you look forward this year, uh, actually all those headwinds have become tailwinds. The Fed is on pause. Um, you know, the China is actually on an easing mode. Uh, oil prices have corrected downwards to about 56 from $80. And um, if you look at the trade dispute, it's being resolved right now. So that has lifted um, sentiment considerably. As a result, the Asian high yield market has rallied a little bit. Uh, but if you look at it forward, you know, where the valuations are uh, just on the index yield itself, it's still, we're still yielding about 8.1%. And historically, for the last five years, this is actually on the high end of the range. So we, still, we are still constructive. We think valuations are still attractive. Uh, and no doubt that going forward, yield carry will be uh, a main driver yield and carry, but we think there will be a little bit of spread compression. Are there other opportunities you are looking at outside of Chinese credits in the Asian high yield universe? Right now, I must say the valuations are more attractive in the Chinese space, particularly real estate. Just from a diversification perspective, uh, we do like India uh, and some of the credits will be the industrial space. And, um, and of course, in Indonesia, the commodity space, uh, we like it purely on a valuation basis and we will invest accordingly. If you like this video, don't forget to like our Facebook page for more investment ideas and comment down below for what you would like us to cover next.